All right, boys and girls from YouTube. Today we are going to try to recalibrate our throttle position sensor. Uh, when I first uh, calibrated, you can see the with the f gas pedal not depressed at all. The number is 921. When it's fully depressed, it's 1021. Now. What that's given me is a very short window from 0 to 100%. And what's actually happening is that when I'm about, if it's a quarter of the way open throttle, I'm at a 100% throttle position. So what I believe is going on is that the uh, sensor I have in relation to the throttle body I'm using it definitely needs a little bit of adjustment, and on, you'll see on the uh, TPS that I'm using, they're, they're, well, I opened it up so this way it can kind of pivot a little bit. You'll see it when I, uh, when I show you. This way I can kind of adjust it and hopefully make it to where the, um, well, 0% uh, is actually when the throttle is totally closed so this way we uh, don't have such a large number this way when I actually do uh, put my foot to the floor the sensor actually uh, read the appropriate number of 1021 closer to when the uh, butterflies are fully open all right now uh Jumping to the throttle position sensor Might be a little hard to see with the nitrous line in the way, but If you look at the nitrous line Look about two inches back. You'll see that little gray piece That is the throttle position sensor and If you notice real carefully looking at it it looks like it's a little crooked, I meaning if you ever install one of these, they're kind of more perpendicular to the bottom of the throttle body. Well, mine isn't because that's how I kind of, I'm trying to get the adjustment back. What I did, and you're definitely not going to be able to see it too well, but there's a bolt on the top and a bolt on the bottom and the slot I kind of elongated it a little bit so I can pivot that now I got the idea from looking at other ones I was trying to see if anybody makes one that kind of has a slot and I was gonna buy that and the only one I really found was a uh, a holly and it was 50 bucks and didn't feel like spending fifty dollars on this piece this one I think cost me probably under ten bucks on eBay now for most of this project, I didn't skimp. Um, but the throttle position sensor and the uh, uh, air, air, idle air control, I kind of did. And the throttle body itself, I, I definitely did skimp on that one because I can't see spending $700 for something that's a piece of aluminum that kind of opens up to four holes. So hopefully that doesn't come back and bite me in the butt. But... That's the only thing I really kind of went, you know, the uh, eBay special on. So, the adjustment um, to that, hopefully it works. If not, like I said, I spend under 10 bucks, so I'll just go out and buy the Holly. And, you know, hopefully that'll do what I need it to do. But for right now, uh, that's what I did. So, the next... Shot will be me on the laptop trying to adjust uh, the program and we'll go from there. See you in a bit. All right, boys and girls, we are now in the car with the computer hooked up to the mega skirt. And as you can see, right now it's uh, the throttle position sensor is reading. 
and believe me my foot is not on the throttle at all so what we're going to do is we're going to try to calibrate this again i hope this works if not then i went the wrong direction with the elongating of the throttle position sensor so sorry for the shaking i'm going to try to elegantly go to the sensor calibration try this all right hopefully this will go down so get current what I want is that number 858 to go down and it went up <laughs> I went the wrong way all right well we learn together well, let's see what else I put my foot to the ground oh uh, yeah it's ready to look see what I get yeah so I definitely went the wrong way so I'm going to turn it the other way and see what happens that is interesting like I'm barely touching the gas and it goes from 80 to... all right well let me stop at this point and let's see if I can make an adjustment or two and go from there see you in a bit all right, boys and girls, here's try two. Looks like I might have uh, installed it wrong. Yeah, I'm going to say it looks like. If, if this works, then I definitely did. So let's try this again. Hopefully I can hold this somewhat steady. Alright, let's see... Hmm, definitely not what I'm expecting here. I don't get it. Alright, well, try for round two. Alright, third time. As you can see, the needle now is at 10% so I'm heading in the right direction so let's try this still kind of high hmm. all right try again hang on all right try who knows I'm losing track but let's see what happens now Back up again. Hmm. All right, one last time, and let's see what we get. Still darn high. Hmm. All right, boys and girls, looks like I have a fix. It seems that uh, this style of throttle position sensor has two versions. One's a counterclockwise, which is the one on the right, and then a clockwise, which is the one on the left, version. So I had ordered the wrong one. That's why I was having so much trouble adjusting the throttle position. So hopefully by putting the correct one on, I can correct that issue. So next thing you'll have this on and me trying to adjust the throttle position on the Mega Squirt again. So as you can see, or maybe not, the throttle position sensor is installed. So the next step is to actually get the computer hooked up, Tuner Studio up and running, and try to adjust it one more time. All right, you can see we're kind of up and running. 
Let's see where we wind up with this. So the throttle is totally closed, get current, and still no luck. Hmm. Maybe we got it wired backwards. How is that possible? Well, yep, it's wired backwards because look what just happened. <laughs> so that seems to be the problem well that's an easy fix since that blue bar was supposed to go the opposite way when I hit the gas those numbers should be reversed so let's take a Let's fix that problem and try it again. Stay tuned for that. All right, for right now, I have the uh, wires temporarily connected. Just in case I'm wrong with this. And hopefully they're still connected. Here goes nothing. All right, that looks much better. And we finally have some success. Well, Luckily, the fix was a combination of two things. One, I had the wrong throttle position sensor. I had a counterclockwise version, and I needed a clockwise version. Then the other part of that problem was I had the wires reversed. So, now I can put those back together correctly and we'll set it again just to be on the safe side and go from there all right thanks again for watching